Could you talk to us about playing the timpani soloistically and what some of the challenges are? Playing timpani soloistically isn't difficult, but playing timpani as a soloist is a challenge, and it starts with your audience members. They don't really know what the instrument sounds like. They know that it's a drum, and they know it's usually in the back of the orchestra, and they know it's very low. Yet, I would say that most people don't even know the timpani create a pitch. The first challenge is to find pieces that help the listener understand that aspect of the instrument. So I'm looking for pieces that are tuneful. And what I found early on when I was playing in chamber music settings and having opportunities to play as a soloist, if I played a melody, people went, oh my gosh, that's, that's a melody. It's not just boom, 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 or high, low. Because it's an easy instrument just to go really fast and play a billion notes and make a rumble in the jungle and everybody thinks that that's magnificent. And sometimes it is. But as a steady diet, you'll wear out your audience really quick. And you yourself as the performer, I think, miss the opportunity of creating melody, whatever that might be. Creating phrases based on melody as compared to just surely rhythmic figures that don't have basis in harmony and melodic contour. Could you share with us any advice you have for up-and-coming composers watching this video and thinking about entering our Call for Scores project? My advice to composers is first befriend a timpanist. This is what James Blades and Benjamin Britten, they were best of friends and that's why Britten's parts are magnificent. Well, he's a great composer, but he had blades showing him what to do. Elliot Carter had Jan Williams. The Carter solos really are successful as a result of that collaboration. William Kraft and Igor Stravinsky. Best of friends, collaboration with a percussionist and with a composer. So start with that. Get into the room and watch a, a great timpanist and you know the sound effect aspect of putting symbols on the heads and fritalis that George Crumb did very effectively in Music for Summer Evening, that's great and it's really interesting but if you overdo that, that's not what timpani are. You're going to miss the, the really rich depth and provocative manner in which the instruments can be used. So don't go the easy route, which is just put a bunch of stuff on the head and oh, and listen to all the crazy things while you're pedaling it. If you like that, oh, okay, you can do a little bit of it. The use of fingers and hands and playing on the bowls, there's an infinite number of opportunities. But first start with this following fact about timpani. It is the only percussion instrument in which you and I are 100% responsible for its pitch, period. When you strike a timpani note, you're responsible for the intonation, the quality of sound, and what that pitch is. And I think that if the composers approach the instrument that way, they're going to find a very satisfying end result. And for those composers who, who just want, you know, let's just rip. It's a great ripping instrument, no doubt. But that gets so tiring so quickly. If it's a, a rip festival, okay. I mean, you know, just make sure there's lots of uh, liquor available and people will love it. And then I guess the last thing that I would recommend that composers do and timpanists who are going to go into this genre is study what is there. I mean, know the Britain Nocturne. Tenor voice, obligato, and timpani. Oh my gosh, I mean, Britain really nailed it. Bar talk, of course. Know your piano concerto number two, music for strings, celeste, and percussion. Bar talk sonata, those three. Concerto for orchestras, piece of cake. Easy breezy. That second piano concerto, oh, what fantastic writing. Study the Carter pieces, because those are our most famous timpani pieces. Then start thinking about what you want to write combine all those things together, then the composer can put in their original voice, whatever they want to do, and I think you'll get the results that you want.
Well, thank you for coming out here today. My pleasure, and I'm thrilled that you're keeping the, the torch lit. With solo timpani and chamber music, and you're to be commended for uh, advancing the art thank form you. as well. Thank you. Appreciate it.